That is your destination. Honorable Ndrozi, can you kindly please withdraw unconditionally? I kindly please withdraw and sustain Honorable member, age destination. Honorable member, this is the last time. <laughs> withdraw, please. Didn't I do that? I withdraw. <laughs> okay. Thank Are you, you very happy, much. brother? Withdraw. Thank you. It wasn't just the DA, it wasn't just the day, DA that was dreaming, comrades, friends. It was also the EFF. We will win the elections, they kept saying. When we take over in 2019, many elections, we will do this and we will do that. Well, what happened? The reality is they could muster only a 2.5% increase over the 8.2 result in the 2016 local government election. Now get the match point right, you have so many PhD people. Point of order. Uh, they are only 40% away from being a majority. Only What's your point of order? It's uh, unparliamentary to deliberately mislead the House no. about the losses of the member, ANC you can't. and the gains of the EFF. If you say, Look at the benches, brother. Honorable Don't be overwhelmed by your ego. Honorable member. That's why you are in the NCOP That's fine. and not the Honorable in the member. That's fine. Because Honorable they members. lost. Yeah. Honorable Next Ndrozi. is old age home. Honorable Ndrozi. Honorable Ndrozi. Uh, order. Honorable Ndrozi, you can't say a member is deliberately misleading. That's unparliamentary and you must withdraw it. Withdraw it. You know that. You know the rules. I withdraw that he's no, 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 no. Unconditional, honourable member. I unconditionally withdraw and sustain the old age home destination. Honora that Honora is your destination. Honourable Ndrozi, can you kindly, please withdraw unconditionally? I kindly, please withdraw and sustain honourable the old member. age destination. Honourable member, this is the last time. <laughs> withdraw, please. Didn't I do that? I withdraw. <laughs> okay. Thank Are you, you happy, much. brother? Withdraw. Take your seat. Well, Go ahead, not, Honorable Member. Yeah, it's not an attack on me, it's an attack on the IEC. These are their results, right? So, if the DA dreams about the free market, the EFF dreams about an all-powerful Father Christmas state that will deliver everything and anything to everybody overnight. And let me tell you, it's not simple Mao suits of the 1960s they want for all. It's Louis Vuitton red overalls. Nationalize, they say. Nationalize and hey presto, hey presto, everything gets solved. Now, this is idealism of the worst sort. The EFF claims to be Marxist. Where is the historical materialism? No assessment of the historical juncture, of the concrete economic and political terrain, of the domestic and global forces, balance of forces, of the strength of the state, of the readiness of the working class and its allies for socialism. And where exactly is the EFF socialist struggle, working class base? Where's the trade union movement? Where's the workers? Where in the world? When did Lenin and Marx say it is the youth that will be the revolutionary motive force for socialism? Not Lenin, not Marx, and not the other great hero. The the great Franz Venon never said that. So, so, why this youth fundamentalism? Everybody over the age beyond Malema's age is a, a reject, is a hack. Yet they admire China. What's the average age of the Central Committee or the government of China? Bond of order. The EFF is voluntarist. The Bond EFF, the EFF. What's your Bond point of order, order honourable member? Can, can we ask this demoted member of parliament to say honourable Malema, it's law here in parliament. Okay. Must respect us. Mr. Malema is acceptable. Mr. Please. Malema. Okay. Yes. Yeah, All right. Okay. All right. The EFF is volunteerism with no foundation in materialism. This idealism, this volunteerism is closely linked to its populism. And this, this populism is closely linked to its militaristic posture. There is no armed struggle. We are a democracy. They're in parliament. Why do they have as the head a commander in chief? Where's the internal democracy? Who is he commanding? Towards what end? No clarity, right? He thinks, he thinks, order, he order thinks, members. he was too young to be in the armed struggle, rightly. I have no doubt he would have taken part. But, but he thinks that if you fire a rifle in the air at the EFF rally, that makes you a soldier. Now, and the EFF, let me tell you, is all tactics and no strategy. 
Normally, your tactics, as we all know, and he knows, he comes from the national democratic tradition, Comrade Malema. Why is it that you don't accept this, please? You see, you have a strategy overall, and you subordinate your tactics to it. No, no, no. The EF is tactical. Everything is tactical. So they swing from one extreme to the other. Identity crisis. So one day they're opposing the public protector. Next day they're supporting the public protector. We don't know what's going on. One day they're opposing state corruption, or, or, or state capture, as we call it. Next day defending the perpetrators of that corruption. One day, one day they're supporting you know, for example, let me ask you, can you respond, Mr. Shivambo, when you speak? The state is weak. The state-owned enterprises are weak. Even the president and the minister of public enterprise says that. What sort of state is going to be able to take over property completely and disperse it, Mr. Malema? Think to, let's engage around that. There's somebody else who's going to deal with the land issues. I've got only 254 minutes. So, you can be technically flexible, technically flexible, but it must be part of an overall strategy, right? Now, the EFF claims to be Marxist, in what sense you can't tell. Like the DA, you two parties are the opposite sides of the same coin. Both suffering from an identity crisis, both don't know where you're going because Mr. Zuma is not here anymore. Now, <clears throat> which is not to say, President, we don't have our own internal problems. It's there, even the peasants in outer Mongolia know it, and the frozen citizens of Alaska know it. And we have to do something, Mr. President. You and the Deputy President and the SG, wherever he is, I hope he's listening. Or at least somebody will convey it to him. Now, let me put this to you. We are a, no, 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 let me finish. I'm about to finish, you'll be rid of me. Now look, look, we're a national liberation movement. We're not a typical party in a cohesive sense of DA and EF are meant to be. We are a broad movement of all classes and all strata of the population. And we're in alliance with the Communist Party, mercifully president, and, the, and Kosatu and Sanko. So it's obvious we can't be ideologically cohesive, Mr. Malema. You know that in the way you could be and the DA could be. So what's your reason for not being ideologically cohesive, DA? I don't know, you're a party. <laughs> but you know what? We, we respect the free market. The president has gone overboard and the deputy president and the ministers. We believe the free market has a role to play. We are committed to the private sector. We're not frightening them away. It'll be foolhardy and anti-Marxist even president, uh, 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 the general secretary of the party in the other capacity, you'll agree. Now, look, we're saying we want a national democratic revolution advanced, consolidated and deepened. We want a national democratic society in which there's both the market and the state. That's why we reject some of what they say. Certainly everything they say and some of what they say. The market and the state, right? That's what we want, a cooperative relationship between them. And we are saying we can't do it on our own as the ANC. We need all of you, despite our differences, despite our differences, despite what I've said here, because I was provoked by Ms. Chirwa more than Mr. Malema. Mr. Malema, by the way, no, 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 Mr. Malema, I was going to be very conciliatory, Mr. Malema, because I saw you on TV, and obviously I googled you because I had to do the sweeping. You are very much more temperate today than you were in the media, but I can see now you put Ms. Chirwa to do the work, right? Now, now, as I know it, as I know it, Mr. Malema, Mr. Shivambu, you're the chief poop of your party. As I know it, when I came in 94, a maiden speech, you don't interrupt, but in return, the maiden speaker... Order, order Deputy Speaker. I've only got 13 what's seconds. What's order, point speaker. Of order? No, he yes. must stop undermining women. No, no, no. Honorable no, Chiwa no, is no, capable no, of no, speaking no, in this Honorable parliament. Honorable member, what's your he, point of order? You, you, <laughs> must, you must never undermine women, Chief. No, Please. No, no. Honorable member. Honorable, Honorable Chiwa is better than you. That's yes, why you got demoted. Honorable member. You got demoted by your own party. Honorable member. Stop that, Chief. Honorable member. That's why you ran away from SNC. Honorable member. Member, I run away from I remain, I remain a member of the Politburo. What's your problem? But you know you're not right. I mean, that's an outrageous thing to say. What I am saying is this. If you do a maiden speech, as I understand it, uh, Deputy Speaker, you have to be temperate and you don't criticize too much in your first speech. Now, she did that, which is what was provoked. Yeah, Honorable Karim, no? Thank you very much. Your time has expired. Please. <laughs> Honorable members. It's now time for you to go. Honorable Mwai, how can you be standing and drinking water like that? <laughs> Honorable members, take your seats. You must, you must follow the order. Please, some decorum is useful. Please, man, some decorum is useful.